A little bit of tobacco in my mouth. One second. Oh, that's better now. Hi, the YTPC. It's easy the happy go lucky piper coming to you. A bit of housekeeping. Again, I'm smoking my Brebe 8 Calibre style pipe. Inside, I'm smoking some Kramer's mixture for Gary Grant. Beautiful tobacco that was gifted to me by my friend da Brian from Down Under. A couple of days ago, this little coffee container was full to the brim, so you can see how much I've enjoyed this. I must have like three or four bowls already, at least, big bowls. From the moment I smoked this tobacco, I fell in love with it. Love at first smoke. So I decided today to make a little video about this tobacco. Kramer's blend for Cary Grant. I looked on YouTube, I didn't find too many videos. I know our friend, Ken Masters, made a video discussing some of Kramer's tobaccos. So I thought I'd give a few minutes or so. It's a very, very nice tobacco. It's an interesting kind of tobacco. Have a nice cup of coffee as well. The Heim folks. Um, the tin note, I smelt the letter Kia. But also sm I smelt this sweetness so what I did was I smoked it a couple of times and then after smoking it I decided to learn a little bit about this tobacco. It very much intrigued me. This tobacco is very, very s delicious. The flavors seem to come together very, 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 very nicely. The first times I smoked this tobacco I felt it was very much like an English with some sweetness. The more I get familiar with this tobacco, come to the conclusion it's it's definitely sweet, flavoursome. One can taste Orientals and the Virginias and the Afikia. And it's very, very hard for me now to put my finger on any given tobacco inside this blend. They all come together. Many times I've heard people reviewing the tobaccos and saying um, it's very rounded, rounded flavor. I'm beginning to understand what they mean. The flavors all come together over here. It's a sweet tobacco. I understand there is some, maybe some Irish mist or something in it. Or it's an Irish kind of style of arrow. It certainly can taste the English. Everything seems to complement each other. It's like a symphony, this kind of tobacco for me. It's hard for me to pull out individual flavors. Sometimes I'm able to, but it comes together really, really beautifully. So I would like to give, I won't call this a review because I'm not really qualified to review. It's more like an impressions so, let me show you the tobacco. It's a ribbon cut. As you can see, there are a lot, there's Cavendish in it, there's a black piece of Cavendish, I think I do taste, I can detect. One second, my phone is almost got knocked down. There's Virginia's. 
it looks very 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 beautiful it's a coarse cut it really looks the other tobacco as my friend Simon would say to me this tobacco is very very appetizing looks very colorful and full of life and the smell is absolutely divine so this tobacco has a bit of history to it it was made by the Kramers who have a tobacco shop in LA and they have a few signature blends and this blend was made for a famous actor Carrie Khan what I understand is in the past few years with the FDA regulations etc etc they have no longer been able to make this tobacco so they've passed on the recipe to smoking pipes the smoking pipes are making this tobacco for them and you can buy it from smoking pipes this is where I, I think my friend Brian got it for me there's also a, fa a father Dempsey tobacco it was very very similar in this series I think Derek Tant, the mayor of the YTPC, <coughs> excuse me, has made a nice video I remember seeing some time ago about Father Dempsey. I hope they get my hands on some of that as well sometime. So I just wanted to share with you this tobacco. Um, so I'll give you a little bit of info from tobacco reviews. They say it's Kramer's created this medium bodied mixture, especially for one of their customers, the famous ironic character, Carrie Grant. There's the English blend as a base with a small layer of Irish aromatic for a little more sweetness. It was blended by, it's blended by Marsha Kramer. They, call, they classify it as an English. I would say it's more of a crossover to me. It's like a Northwoods, but Latakia is definitely present, but in the background. It contains almost everything. Cavendish, Latakia, Orientals, Turkish and Virginias. It has an Irish mist flavoring. It's a ribbon cut. And you can buy it, excuse me, smokingpipes.com. It was given a three stars out of four which is pretty good it's mild to medium there's flavor here but it's a delicate kind of flavor room note pleasant it's one of these kind of tobaccos I think that one can definitely smoke in company I'll let you into a little see you can even smoke a bowl of this inside my study I've got special permission from Mrs. Happy This could really be for me an all day smoke. Um, lately I've been trying to slowly, slowly go through my collection, familiarize myself with the tobaccos I have. Um, I feel very, very blessed having a nice selection of tobaccos. We always get so tempted when we see new things. This really is a very nice tobacco. I think when I finish this, I'm going to be ordering some more Cary Grant and maybe some Father Dempsey as well to put on the side. I think it's also a very nice tobacco for people that are starting in their hobby. There's really a lot of flavors here. And it behaves very, very nicely. I mean, one light and that's basically it till the end of the bowl. It burns to a beautiful white ash. Mm. Really, thank you very, very much, Brian, for introducing me to this tobacco. I haven't made any pipe reviews or pipe tastings or experiences videos on it for a long time. But I really was blown away with this tobacco. I think a lot of people have heard about it. 
you know, all these kinds of tobaccos that we hear about, discussed. So I feel really privileged to have had the opportunity to try it for the first time. And I'm really, really enjoying it. And I think this is something, it's one of these kind of stars that's like in the back shelf somewhere in our lists of tobaccos to get. So that's all folks. Take it easy. It's easy here. Happy go lucky piper. Put it in your pipe and smoke it. you really enjoy it, I think. I'm happy to see in the comments if there are people who have tried this tobacco. What were their so what were their thoughts and their impressions? I really came, really was blown away with this tobacco. Really, very, very delicious. This is certainly, even though we have like a week and a bit left of 2018, this will certainly be one of my favorite tobaccos for 2018. And I think this is going to play a big part in my rotation. All the best now. God bless you. And happy holidays to everyone. And happy new year. Bye bye.